Great day, attractive thinker, Dr. Tony Hatton here, your vision and mindset expert at theattractivethinker.guru. This is where we support you with mental healing, mental strength, and mindset maintenance. I am delighted to be here with you this morning. It is a great day to be alive. I just want to support you. If you've been listening to my audios and videos, and if you're on my email list, or if you've received your free audio at the attractive thinker.guru and have been watching your five bonus videos that I've released last week, actually, you should be already completed uh, video five and working on your bonus materials. So I wanted to just talk to you a minute about that. Um, if you have not uh, received your free gift, look down in the feed below and some of the comment sections below some of my posts and check out the link freegift.theattractivethinker.guru. When you click on that link, you're gonna receive, check your email, because you're gonna receive an audio entitled, Create the Life You Love from Right Where You Are. In addition to that, you're gonna receive five bonus videos that talks about how to create that life that you simply love right from where you are. And I say right from where you are because a lot of times we feel as though it's what we don't have that's keeping us from what we want in life or everything that we want is outside of ourselves. So we continue to seek outside of ourselves instead of turning inward <clears throat> and going inside into our inner treasure. So I wanted to, you know, release those audios and really support you with creating the life that you love attractive thinker because you deserve that so take your time go through the videos we're already getting comments from the videos they're already transforming the thinking you know that's what the essence of the attract the attractive thinker is to support you with mental healing mental clarity mental strength and mindset maintenance once you get clear you know in your mind and in your thinking that clarity comes you want to hold on to that because life can happen you know in the midst of those distractions and frustrations we talked about that what do you do when you're disappointed if you remember earlier this week we um i did a live stream on that how do you handle disappointment because life is going to happen right so you want to have some tools in place to handle that so that you can hold on to the progress that you're making you don't want to keep going around in the same circle keep reaching the same point in your life and you lose your grip you slip your mental muscle gets weak and you can't hold on to a positive thought or hold on to a positive feeling or an anticipation or an expectation think about that attractive thinker so you definitely want to download that audio at free gift Dot the attractive thinker dot guru access all of your five bonus videos and do your work you'll complete your worksheets and really come into your own really get clear as to what it is that you want in life where are you going you know like today it's a fantastic and amazing day today it's terrific uh two, two terrific tuesday was yesterday so it's wonderful wednesday today I always like to put a positive a um, adjective in front of our days because it gives us something to hold on to. It, it, it lifts the outlook and the mood, you know. You think about it, it's like, yeah, you're right. It is wonderful Wednesday. You know, we get to, I was um, taking my son to school this morning and <clears throat> got in the car and... Um, the first thing you know we're doing we're putting on seat belts and adjusting things and I pull out of the driveway and I say it is a great day to be alive and they just looked at me and I was like I'm so serious you have to really embrace because they hear me say it all of the time you see me post it all of the time on Facebook and I really mean that it is a great day to be alive and I honor that I'm grateful for that I want to let God know I appreciate that it's a beautiful morning today you know we get to embrace this day we get to see a new day it's not another Wednesday it is a new Wednesday attractive thinker and new means something that you've never seen before something you've never done before something you've never experienced or embraced or felt before something you haven't thought of before these are this day is full of new thoughts new creativity new actions new ideas new behaviors new feelings new challenges new obstacles because they stretch us into new muscle and a, a new presence and a new posture on how we show up in the world 
So if you saw my post on yesterday about writing your book, about writing, publishing, and selling your book. I want to just talk to you a little bit about why that is so important. Everyone has a book inside of them and you don't want to leave here with your story still not told or your story still not read or your story still not heard because your story is your journey. <clears throat> it's a part of your journey, attractive thinker. It's your experience and so many people are currently living here at the same time that you're living and coming behind you that really need to hear how you made it through how they, they really need to hear your story your journey your experience how you processed it what tools did you use how did you handle certain things how did certain things affect you and what did you do what were your next steps your action steps what was your thinking process Think about that. What was your belief? What do you have to believe about your experience in order to get through it? So when we talk about being an author or writing a book, and there's so many different facets that you can just, let me, let me share something with you. <clears throat> the book that I wrote, um, I wrote several, but the book I'm referencing is the first book that I wrote, Don't Be Afraid, He's Preparing You. And you can read an excerpt, a free excerpt of that book at theattractivethinker.guru when you click on I think it's the tab is called the book click on the book and you can read an excerpt there and some testimonials of people who have already read the book down through the years but I didn't write that book to become famous or to get money or to to get notoriety or to even get it in bookstores I wrote that book because I wanted to have something <clears throat> to leave my children. I wanted to have something that would capture our journey as a family and support them throughout their journey when I'm no longer here. That was the intent of that book. Don't be afraid, he's preparing you. I felt as though if I could capture our story, our experience, then no matter where my children would find themselves in their lives, they could always go back to that book and they would see us. Even though we weren't here, they would feel us. They would see us. They could experience us. They could remember that if we got through that as a family, then I can get through this as a sibling in that family, as someone who experienced that, even though I was young or in my childhood and, and didn't understand a lot of things, my mom captured our journey. And now I'm able to still live off of our experience and our triumphs and our victories and our prayers and her wisdom and knowledge and her instruction. I can still hear my mom talking to me through this book. I can still hear my father talking to me through this book or I can still feel my brothers my, my sister, even though they may or may not be here. That's the power of writing your story, attractive thinker. That's the power of leaving you here in the earth. You know, if you're a part of the thinker movement and you've been in on some of my um, private coaching sessions or a part of my group program, you hear me say this all of the time. As an attractive thinker, we're in the business of creating living and leaving a legacy that speaks when we no longer can think about that attractive thinker in order for you to leave your presence here your presence existing in two realms the spiritual and the physical you have to have written material uh audios and videos that's how you exist in two realms when you're no longer here, you're actually still here. If people can read your materials, hear your audios, and watch your videos. And that is important, attractive thing. That is our responsibility. How dare we leave here and not leave our treasure here, our experiences for the people coming behind us. Great day, attractive thinker, Latez. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you here. We haven't talked in so long. Yes, legacy, love, and family. I totally agree. We have to reconnect. Latez was one of our guest speakers on our uh, Strength and What Remains Speaker Summit. It was phenomenal, attractive thinker. I am so serious. I listened to that summit over and over myself. And to get some more details about that summit, I recorded all of the audios. What, what happened was we had a collection of 
I believe it was at least 10 dynamic speakers. I, I chose 10 leaders all across the country and I wanted them to share because they had made it to certain levels in their lives and I wanted them to share their journey. Strengthen What Remains Speaker Summit, the title Strengthen What Remains is what I wanted my audience to understand and access. I wanted them to understand that it wasn't in what you lost that is holding you back in your life. It's your inability to use what you've gained and your inability to access, to pull, to extract from your experience the gems and the jewels that you left along the way. Because a lot of times we go through things and we leave our stuff in our journey because we're so happy to get out of it. Can't wait to get out of this experience or overcome this obstacle or move on with my life. I can't wait till this is over. I can't wait till these kids grow up. Or I can't wait to leave this job. Or I can't wait to get out of this relationship or get into a relationship. Or I can't wait to get out of this house. Or I can't wait to get a new car. Always ready to leave something that we feel as though is not desirable, but we're forgetting the lessons to be learned there. What did we learn from that experience? As an attractive thinker, you can't go through something and not learn something. You can't go through something and it not have a purpose for you. See, that's the difference between a victim and a victor. A victim looks at their experiences and <clears throat> great day, attractive thinker Trevor. It is so awesome to see you here this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Trevor is the bomb.com. Oh my gosh, we have such a history. Thank you so much for joining us, Trevor. You know, it's a difference between a victim and a victor. A victim, the mentality of a victim is, I'm going through this stuff, I'm so sick and tired of it, I don't know why this happened to me, why me, or um, I'm tired of the pain, or something's always happened, or you know what, I knew this was going to happen, whatever, whatever. And that's how they handle situations. Things just keep happening and impacting over and over and over, and all they say, they just keep taking it, just like keep taking those punches. Just stand in there, keep taking those punches. Why do we keep standing there taking those punches? Instead of confronting the experience, confronting the situation, getting control over the situation and making the outcome what we desire for it to be. There is treasure in all of our experiences, but if we're not clear, if we don't have a victor's mentality, we leave our jewels, our lessons, our treasures, the things that that experience came for us to gather, to put in our backpack and take it along the rest of our journey with us to use, to transform our lives and the lives of others. That's what an experience does. An experience is loaded with treasure. It's not just a challenge or an obstacle. It's an opportunity because I always say that obstacles and opportunities or challenges and opportunities are twins. They're, they're two sides of the same coin. It depends on if your vision is developed enough to see beyond the challenge to the opportunity. And that's the eye, that's the viewpoint. You know, <clears throat> my son said something yesterday. Um, we went out for a while after school and as a family and um, we were getting out of the car and he walked back down the driveway and he turned around and looked at the house. Actually, <clears throat> He was taking a package over that came to our house by mistake. He was taking it over to the neighbor. He turned around and looked back at our house he was, as he was walking back. And when he got over to the car, he says, you know, mom, our house looks different from over there. And you know, as a track thinker, I caught that. And of course, that was a teachable moment. And I looked at him. I said, that's because the viewpoint when you're looking at something standing from a different position, a different posture, a different belief, a, a different thought process, it looks different. And when something looks different, you can approach it differently. Think about that because how you see a thing determines everything. Think about that attractive thinker. So the viewpoint has shifted and now he saw our house from a different eye. Think about that. What about the situations that we experience? We're standing off looking at it from one viewpoint. What if we shifted our position? What if we looked at it moving over just a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left? That's what Strength and What Remains Speaker Summit was all about. 
and you can get access. I downloaded all of those audios and the worksheets. There's an entire workbook for the summit that's also on the website at theattractivethinker.guru. I believe if you click on the store, it's right. It should be somewhere near the top. <clears throat> and that is a treasure to keep forever. The, the Strength and What Remains Speaker Summit. Because no matter where you see... Attractive thinker, this is the beautiful thing about words. Remember I said you want to create, live, and leave a legacy that speaks when you no longer can. In order to do that, it has to be written, it has to be in audio, and it has to be in video. And the, the beautiful part about words is no matter where you are in life, they will find you. The same words, you can pull out the same book or the same audio or the same video, this message right here. You're watching this message right here three months from now, maybe even next week, uh, six months, a year from now. If you've watched this say and listened to this same message, it will meet you where you are. Think about that. It's meeting you where you are today and solving a specific problem or concern or shifting a belief or a thought a year from now. You will have grown. You have become a different person. Your consciousness has increased. You're more you're, uh, positive. You've released more, more, more of your greatness. You're a greater version of yourself. And this same message will enhance your life and take you to the next level. That's the power of words. That's why we need to hear your story, Attractive Thinker. Like I said, I wrote that book, Don't Be Afraid, He's Preparing You, for my children. Once I wrote it, see, this is another key point in, in why you need to write your story. Once I wrote the book, the book took on a life of its own in bookstores, got me speaking engagements, people requesting certain things, coaching around the book. Think about that. The book has life. I, If you're on my email list, I sent out a, a newsletter yesterday and I put a quote there and it says, these are not mindless books or lifeless books. It says, these are not lifeless books. These are minds alive on the shelves. Think about that attractive thinker. These are not lifeless books. These are minds alive on the shelves. And that's what your book is. That was a quote. I was leaving Barnes and Noble and I turned around and looked at the wall. Actually, my I was taking a picture of my children. They were all home from different states. And I was like, we haven't had a family picture in a long time. So they, they lined up on the wall <clears throat> and we took the picture. So... When they got up, I looked around and that's what I saw. These are not lifeless books. They are minds alive on the shelves. And that's what your book is. It's you exhaling your mind, your experience on the shelf. Leave your book on the shelf. We need to hear your story, attractive thinker. Think about that. So I wanted to stop by this morning. <clears throat> And really inspire you to get your, your attractive thinker notebook out and start writing your book. Start just, you know what, don't think about it. Don't try to make it perfect. Don't try to organize anything. The first part of writing a book is the dump. You have to dump your brain out on the paper. Every idea that comes to your mind, just dump it out. It doesn't have to be structured or organized. And in the Master Your Mind experience this month, we're talking about writing our books and we're mapping out the steps and getting organized, getting through the, the mental blocks and the writer's blocks and all that stuff, you know, how to structure the book, what to say in the book, how to make the book, you know, appealing, how to engage the audience, how to make, how to make your book an actual tool that your reader will use over and over and over instead of just reading it one time and putting it on the shelf. So we'll be working on that this month. We're, we're working on that all the month, actually. And our intensive takes place every last Thursday. Um, not last Thursday. Every third Thursday of the month, our intensive takes place where we come together. And I'm teaching on specific topics that support you with mental healing, mental strength, and mindset maintenance. And how to succeed in life and business. How do you handle this thing? How do you manage it? How do you maximize your time and get organized? And really exhale your soul. Exhale what you're here to express into the earth. Dr. Tony Hatton here, your vision and mindset expert at theattractivethinker.guru, where we support you with mental healing, mental strength, 
health and mindset maintenance. Thank you so much for joining us today. Attractive Thinker Trevor, make it a great day. Attractive Thinker Latez, make it a great day. And all of the attractive thinkers out there because it is a great day to be alive. You hear me say this all of the time. My life's work, that is to make your life better. Remember, it's not what you're going through. It's how you're viewing it. Think attractively. I'll see you soon.